Okay. So, is it recording? Yeah. yeah. This is our first trip into the city centre in how long, Bay? You can turn it on yourself. Turn it on yourself. Four months. Four months. Is it four months? Yeah. Yeah. 16th of January, wasn't it? The wow. last time we went in. Was it? Yeah. So, obviously, just heading back into the city and we're heading across to um, Clontarf. We're going to go to a different part of the harbour and then just have a look around. So it's just mad. The two things I've noticed is one, I've forgotten how to drive, <laughs> right? But uh, just you kind of miss the city, don't you? It's like, it's actually looking at it through sort of fresh eyes, if you know what I mean, because I haven't seen it in so long. I feel like a bit of a tourist. That's the Haveny Bridge over there, you getting that thing? Yeah. And if you see down the road, the skyscraper down the very end, that's a skyscraper in Dublin standards, isn't it? That's, it well, the that's shop? the tallest building in Dublin, yeah, isn't that's it? That's Liberty Hall. They're not allowed any taller than that. Yeah, that's Liberty Hall. The only thing I've noticed is a lot of development going on. Mm. A lot of development. Obviously, this is the main thoroughfare into the city. Very congested. Very congested. Well, considering like two weeks ago, it was like a ghost town. That's Temple Bar is in over there. Temple Bar, for anyone who's been to Dublin, is in that area. So if you're coming to Dublin as a tourist, you'll no doubt end up in Temple Bar for the crack. And it is crack, but way overpriced for beer. So go in, have a look around, have a few pints, and then leave, because the minute you step outside Temple Bar, the price of beer drops, but it's very expensive in there. So it's a bit of a rip-off. There's our favorite restaurant there, Yamamori. You can oh, just get the side of it. Yeah, Yamamori. Have to make our way back in there. Yeah. There's the Haypenny Bridge. You get heat, it's putting padlocks on it. And then the council come along and take it off. off yeah. So we're coming down now into the heart of the city. So basically where that tall building is over there, that's what O'Connell Bridge House or something's called to you up there. Right? With the Heineken sign on the clock. You know, talk, that's the heart of the city now. That's the city centre. I actually couldn't tell you what that... It used to be called the Harp. Yeah. Do you remember that? Well, I think it's O'Connell Bridge House or something mm. like that as well. So um, there you go. Maybe we catch a video of O'Connell, O'Connell Street as well. Oh. Yeah. There's a bus man. Can I turn around? Yeah. So there you go. That's an O'Connell Bridge there. So you're smack bang now in the heart of the city. I think it's the widest bridge in Europe or something like that. There's some statistic about it being the widest bridge. And I think O'Connell Street was the widest boulevard of one stage. I'm not sure if it is anymore, but it's... Because Dublin's obviously very old. You know? Mm -hmm. So we have come through the heart of the city. There's actually a quicker way. There's a ring road around Dublin, and the M50. And then you catch the M1 and it brings you back in. And there's a tunnel that runs under the city. So it cuts about, I'd say, half an hour off the journey, but Vanessa wanted to come this way because she just missed having a look at the city. So you don't have to drive through all the traffic, but Vanessa insists on boarding me diesel. Haven't cost you money in months. Oh, it's the Wax Museum over there. So, so there's O'Connor, we'll come through now, it'll be O'Connell Street. So Connell Street, the GPO, if anyone's interested in Irish history, look up the GPO in Dublin and you'll find out all the shenanigans that went on. There's their skyscraper. That's our There she Dublin. is. Yeah. And I think it's only right that they don't allow anything to be taller than that. Although that building over there, I think could possibly be taller than it. Not sure, I just, see the thing is, obviously the city, the way it's designed is that the other buildings are also low, that we just create a big shadow. So the way around, let's say down the Canary Wharf in London, what they did was they built a separate place because all the houses would be in the shadow. Mm. And this is the whole thing, it's all about protecting people's rights to get sunlight and everything like that. Yeah. Yeah, so coming up here on the left is the customs house. So when all the ships used to come in into the port here, uh, that's obviously to do with customs, that building there, let me show, show, show there, Vanessa. Now, my understanding is that the road wasn't here, that the ships used to go right up to it, that the, the keys was along the path there, is my understanding, or something like that. So this road was put in at some stage, but I could be wrong. And the building is actually built back the front. Yeah. So um, 
this is we're coming into now Ireland's financial district or Dublin's over there and over there is where the ISFC yeah there tends to be uh, tends to be uh, that's the family memorial to, to watch that truck behind me so uh, yeah, that's where the beer festival used to be in there which is very good and then there's a ship there. I'm not sure which ship it is though. Is that the one that was doing the testing? No, I don't know what it is. Is that is it that ship, the famine ship? Is it one of those famine ships, is it? Maybe. Are people heading to the States? Poor old immigrants who went over. That in there is Dublin Port. So when we got the boat, when we get the boat over to France, or well, and the boat anywhere really, <laughs> uh, that goes from Ireland. This is where it's to look down there. They don't see big ships coming in. Or I don't recognise that boat here. Whatever it is, big cargo thing. So there you go. So that's where we got the boat to France from here last year. The boat to France. Normally we go from Rosslare, which is uh, much further south. But uh, we finally, I finally had a rain there, didn't I? Yep. Take the boat from here, which is much handier. Yeah. And uh, see that you can see them in the distance, see the towers in the distance behind the crane, see them. After 300 meters, that's obviously cross the that's roundabout. That was a big power Second station, exit. I think it's not used anymore. Okay. Are you recording it? Yeah. So, this is the issue, obviously, with the van, these things, they're everywhere. So, how am I doing? I'd say you literally have the width of your finger. Well, you, you want to come around and just keep an eye on it. Obviously, the video is like, I'm down. Okay. Right, is that right? Yeah. Now yeah, you can get back. I'm down. How close am I? You're pulling the water off it, you're so close. How are you? You're grand! Stop. What? It's pulling the awning. Is it? Yeah. So, so you see, this is the thing. That's why we had to get rid of it. The, the, they're obviously to stop people coming down, and but to stop people coming down in white vans and that kind of stuff and everything like that. But this is the issue that they're kind of everywhere. But there's no markings on the map to say it'd be handy if they had that, wouldn't it? Mm. So we were basically what we had to do is we had to back up, and I had to drive further over because of the camber the road was making me catch it slightly, wasn't I? Mm. You were, I was catching it, wasn't well, it? It dips in the middle, you can see. So. So the thing is, I pulled over to the far side to get the van down as far. So the only thing is going back now. We'll just do the same thing. Yeah. I might have to... Well, I might have to drive up the wrong side of the road. But anyway, we'll see. Cool.
over in the distance over there, that's the usual beach we go to. We're normally on the other side of the port. If you look at some of the videos of us, when we go up to Contarf, you can see the statue at the very end. The tall object at the very end. So that's normally where we are. And for years I've been trying to get onto this side. We finally figured it out.
Ich habe einen See too often, is it really? The ashes of Brendan, age 45, was cast on the tide near this place that he loved on the 2nd of June 2002. Tread softly. 2002. I wonder what they mean now. Um, 2000. So we've parked up. Why is that so close to me? What's going on there? You can't zoom in that lens. Anyway, so what we're doing is we're, we've parked up and we're in Clontarf. So we've obviously had a, a, a good adventure around. But um, this spot is a spot that, uh, it's on how to focus it. This is a spot that we've always wanted to come to and we could never quite figure out how to get here. So um, that's what we, we've managed to figure it out now today. And I have to say it's cool, but it is very busy. When we got here now, it was busy-ish, but, but like the roads all, it's all, I don't know what I'm showing you, it's all double park now and everything like that, so it's super busy. But um, a good spot, beautiful, because you have the beach just there, and you have the, the ports just behind us and so on. Dublin city's just there, so it's pretty good. But anyway, the real thing we came for is to get out in the van, and obviously no, no trip to the beach will be complete without Vanessa's favorite. Super duper burgers, isn't that right, Faye? Mm hmm. So I'm looking forward to have that. Christian had his. What was it like, buddy? Amazing. Amazing? Mm -hmm. How hungry were you? Pretty. You're pretty hungry. Mm -hmm. So, uh, pretty hungry probably translates into All right. the best burger in the world, I'd say. <coughs> right, okay, I'm gonna eat me burger. Thank you. Are you having a veggie burger? Nope. Very fancy. One thing I would say. We came down and it was very overcast. Uh, I just had a, a bite of my burger and it's absolutely delicious. Thank you, Vanessa. Mm. Beautiful. They're very good burgers. We get the burgers from the butcher in the village. What's the name of the butchers? O'Donovan's. O'Donovan's in Ratcool village on the main street. And we highly recommend our burgers. They're absolutely delicious. I'd say be, since the COVID thing has broken out, the amount, of, I don't know how many, we must have eaten half a cow at this stage, have we? The amount of burgers we've had, they're absolutely beautiful. But the weather when we came down, it was very overcast and very misty, and it was not cold, but a little bit chilly. It's a but chill in the air, all right, yeah. It has definitely turned around to be, oh, that's why it's so dark, right? It has definitely turned out to be uh, an amazingly, it has turned out to be amazing day, like really, really warm. And I'd say the humidity and the heat, it's gone thunder. Mm. I'd say we're probably going to get torrential rain, I'd say. Yeah, I have a little kind of heaviness over my eyes. Just, you know that? 
that feeling you get there. Yeah. I have to. There you are. People, you've heard it from Vanessa. She's a headache. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. It's gonna, it's gonna rain. She has a headache. Huh? Not mm. tonight. Not tonight. I've got a headache. So that's it. Bye bye. The sun was not planned for at all. It turned out to be an absolutely beautiful evening. So, um, we were going to go for a wander. I think just the focus. We were going to go for a wander, but the tide has come in now. It's completely cut off the beach. So we're going to go for a bit of a walk down the road and have a look at the industrial complex. That's where we're parked. We basically went into the van, had a little bit of a lie down, and just chill out chilled out and relaxed a little bit. 
Very busy now. A lot of people out and about. Very popular spot. Very popular. Ew. you want. I don't know why you'd want it. Because they're gorgeous. Are they weeds? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Are they? Yeah, it's a speaker. Yeah. So, the, the tide comes in. It's a really long, flat basin. And the tide comes in. And it, it must come in for a few kilometers. It's really flat here. So what you're looking at is, oops, what you're looking at is, uh, that's into Dublin. It's all Sandy Mount, Kalini and Dalky. Like you can actually see the tide. You can see the tide is coming in. Let me get in focus. See the tide is coming in. Huh? If I, if I get back, get back now. So you can see it's coming in. It's just coming in. You see, you get in trouble because it comes in so quickly. comes in so quickly. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. Oh, wait now. Are they all sticks? No. Look at the tides coming in. What are all those thingies? Yeah. What are all the sticks? Yeah. What sticks? Those sticks. The white thingies. That's poo from shellfish. Oh. Is it safe to walk on? Yeah. I get it with the lens. Yeah. Oh, like there's. Here's my foot. Not that cold. Be careful when you walk. Not that cold. Jellyfish. No way. Oh, I see it. See that? Where? You have jellyfish fish there. Where? It's there. Oh yeah. some kind of strange fascination with them. I think it's because I've seen them so much. Do you know what I mean? As a child, I always saw them from everywhere. I was just mad to see them. They're so massive. Yeah, see, I wonder, is that like, say, the original buildings? I must Google it all. Yeah, and it looks like they've stripped the outer part of it. It's probably cladded in something, probably asbestos, that asbestos sheeting. Just it's kind of fireproof sheeting that they used to use all over the place, but it's uh, really, really dangerous. Like that building there looks like it's still being used. How's it dangerous? Those lines are new. How's it dangerous, Dad? How's asbestos dangerous? Yeah. It causes cancer. Really? Looking at this image here, you'd think we were away, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's, a mask. Isn't it? it's like we're we're somewhere far and look. 
Okay. Beautiful coast, palm trees. Like what, buddy? Like Hawaii. Bit of sunshine, except then you turn around, it's like, ah! And. But like, ah, Hawaii, and then you look around, you're like, ah, Palu.